Welcome to a webinar about the Cybio Composer, the control software for devices of the Cybio product line of Analytic Jena AG. So devices you can control are our pipetting platforms, Cybio Felix and Cybivel. And you can control some other devices as well, like our own stacking devices, printers, uh, like robots or other third-party devices. In this webinar, we will use the Cyberio Felix as an example. It's a very flexible pipetting platform with the ability of pipetting in one channel format up to 384 channel format. It is very compact, has a small footprint and is based on our proven and reliable technology with a very high precision, accuracy and robustness. We have a wide range of interchangeable pipetting heads for the Cyberio Felix, including 96 and 384 formats, different volume ranges, and we have a choice head, which has a very wide volume range in one head. Some other heads are available as well. Please ask for the head which is suitable for your special application. We want to talk about the Cyberio Composer now, which has the scripting studio for as a programming interface to write your own programs. And as a second graphical user interface, we have the application studio, which gives you the possibility to control pre-written programs or to integrate your own programs into the application studio so you can run or your users can run programs without seeing the programming interface. When you open this Cyber Your Composer from an icon on your desktop, you have the choice of different configuration if you have different, different ones. In this example, we have the Scripting Studio configuration. And then you see the user interface of the composer. So we have here the command bar as one window and you can open a new program like in any other Windows program with a click on File, New. You have the possibility of seeing some other windows as well, logging, help windows. We don't want to talk about that now. Uh, just one comment, you can Configure your workspace like you want with the windows you want and the information you want to see. You have four different workspaces here. The edit workspace, test, execution and error workspace. And each of these workspaces can be configured to your needs and can be saved user specific. So if you log on with a different username on your PC, you can have your own workspace configuration. So what are the steps to create your own pipetting programs? Let's make a simple example, a transfer from one plate to another, a 96 plate to another 96 plate. So we have here different command sections. We use the Cyber Felix commands. And the first action we want to do is to load tips on our Cyber your Felix head. So therefore we have a load command. With a double click we can insert the command into our so far empty program. And I have to tell this command that I have an robotic 96 well head. Let's assume we have a 96 250 microliter head on our Felix. And I select the tip from the tip database in this example, we want to use 250 microliter shallow well tips. Let's say our tip magazine is positioned on position one on our Felix. And this tip magazine is on a support stand of 70 millimeters. So this is the complete command for loading tips. The next command we need is a positioning command which positions the head with the loaded tips to our source plate and 
in this command again we have to tell we have a 96 channel head and let's say we have our plate on position 7 on the deck of the Saipi Felix. The labware type, that means the plate type, can be selected from our own database which has a wide range of plates and will be expanded every day more with new plates. Of course this database can have a selection to your needs to show you only the plates which you really use in your lab. In this example we want to use a standard Griner 96 polystyrol plate and of course here is no well selection because we have a 96 channel head and a 96 well plate. So here we have some offset possibilities. We work well bottom related in the software. So I have just to define how far I want to be with the tip from the well button. In this example, one millimeter might be a good example. So this is our move command. And now we want to aspirate liquid. So I have an aspirate command and I can specify the volume I want to transfer. Let's assume we want to transfer 10 microliters. So now we have to position the head to the target plate position. And if you are a bit lazy like me, you can just copy this command and change the position to position 8 if you have your target plate on position 8. All the other parameters can be the same. So that's why copy and paste is a quick solution for that. I need a dispense command to dispense the liquid into the plate. And in a simple example, I just want to dispense the whole volume into the plate. And so I use the option blowout. And you can use maximum blowout volume or you can reduce this additional air which forces all the liquid out of the tip to a smaller amount of volume. In this example, I use 20 microliters. So after the blowout, I have to move the tips out of my target plate. And for that, I can use a command which is called vertical drive. And so I say just move to the topmost vertical position. And now the head is up and I can finalize my volume cycle with a pistons to zero command, which resets the piston system in the head and prepares my head for the next pipetting operation. So the last command I have to include in my simple program can be an unload command, which releases the tips I have loaded here to its original position. So again, I say I have a 96 well head and my tips can be stored on position one and I still have the 70 millimeter adapter over there. So that's my first own program for the Cyber Felix, which transfers liquid from one plate into each other. Simple, isn't it? Of course, you can save your program. So you can click on file, save as, and select the folder where you want to store your program and give it a name. In our example, I call it simple transfer. So program is saved. You can execute it directly from this workspace here, execute, or you can include it in the already mentioned application studio to execute this program in an easy way. Let's have a second example. And here I want to show you how easy it is to program a serial dilution. So again, I say new file and I start my program now with a load command, but this time I don't load a tip magazine. I load a liquid handling adapter first, which allows me to take just one column of a tip. So I say again, I have a uh, robotic 96 head and I want to take in liquid handling adapter now, an eight channel adapter. So it's one column of eight tips. This adapter might be on position one. 
and adapters are typically on lower support stands so I choose a 37 millimeter height adapter. So I have to tell the system that I have no tips on this adapter, a channel adapter with no tips and after that I can load my tips from a tip magazine or tip box. So I want to load on an 8 channel adapter and let's say I want to load 250 microliter tips and the tip box can be on position 2. It's a tip box and here you can select the column where you want to take the tips from. So in that example I use column 1. All these parameters can be used with variables as well if you want to have a little more sophisticated programming but for this quick and dirty example I use fixed values. So now I have loaded a tip, a liquid handling adapter and my tips onto the head and I want to start with my dilution series and to make life easy I use a command which is called liquid transfer service. Here I select which type of pipetting head I have. It's an 8 tip comp and I want to work column wise. So I create two blocks in my program. The first block is my aspirate block and the second one is my dispense block. I want to work with the same Griner 96 well plate and because I remember the ID from the database I just entered the 8, uh, I could have selected it from the list as well. I select a well range and the range where I want to aspirate in my dilution series is from column 1 until column 11. In 12 I don't want to aspirate anymore, I just want to dispense. So that's why I select the range from column 1 to column 11. The same I do, I work from left to right, and the same I do on the dispense block. The difference is that I select a different well range. I select the range from 2 to 12 because these are the columns where I want to dispense. In one I just want to aspirate. Working range is or working direction is from left to right again and so that's the definition of my liquid transfer service. So I fill the first block, the aspirate block, with the commands for the aspiration. So first I need a move to labware command again and I tell these commands that I have an 8 channel column and my plate I want to work on might be on position 7 again. 7 is on the upper deck, so typically you have um, tips and liquid handling adapters and such tools on the lower decks and plates on the upper deck of the Siberia Felix. So for the well information I use a variable now which is called well and this variable will be provided by the liquid transfer service command. And again I use a distance from the well bottom of one millimeter. So the next command is an aspirate command. I want to aspirate the volume to transfer it into the next column. And here again I use a volume of 10 microliter. Variables can be used for the Vol, uh, for the for the volume as well. Yeah. In the dispense section, of course, you need again a move to labware command, and again, I just use copy and paste to transfer it. And here I have the same position. I have the same plate, and I even have the same variable for the well information. The difference is that it's in another section of the same command. So this uses the range for the aspiration and this block uses the range for the dispense. So uh, you have a different column for the aspiration and dispense because the definition of the range was different. 
I need a dispense command to dispense my liquid into the well. And here I use the predefined variable current volume. That means dispense everything but without a blowout. And I use a mix command after that. Rinse mix. And here I can specify some option as well. I have an 8 channel comp. I am on the deck position 7 and my labware is still my grinder plate. I aspirate for the mix in a height of 1 mm above well button. It may be my dispense height can be different to have a better mixing result. And of course I need here the same variable information for the positioning like in a dispense. So that's my mix command. And so after that, this command operates as a loop command. So it loops through the range I have specified for these aspirate and dispense blocks and executes my whole dilution series. So after that, I can release my tips. So I use the unload command from my 8 channel adapter. I release it. Maybe now I have a waste box on position 3. And so I select waste box as a labware. And here it doesn't matter, really matter where I want to release the tips because it's just a large box. And Finally, I unload my liquid handling adapter from my robotics 96 head on deck position 1. And here we had the support of 37 millimeters. So this is my whole dilution series program. And I can save it like before. Dilution. Not so complicated to program a dilution series program. As a third example, I want to show you how to create a hit picking program. For a hit picking solution, you need a data source. And for our simple example, let's create a text file. I now just create it manually. Typically, such a file comes from a database. Let's call it just hit pick. You can create such a list with Excel or export it from a database, whatever your solution of data handling is. So in this example, I need three columns, a column source, a column target, and a column volume. And the source column, I have the information where my hits are on the source plates. Let's say my first hit is in A1 and goes to A1 on the target plate. And I want to transfer 10 microliters. The next hit might be in B3 and shall go to A2 on the target plate. And the volume to transfer might be 9 microliter. And the third hit can be C5 and shall go to A3 and the volume to transfer might be 11. I think that's enough for the example. I think you've got the idea. I save this file and go back to the composer. Create a new program. And first, you know that already I have to load my liquid handling adapter. So I use the load command. And this time I want to use a one channel adapter. You can do hit picking with the one channel adapter or even with the eight channel adapter. The eight channel adapter can handle one tip as well. Or you can use the all new select head, which is especially designed for hit picking.
I did a mistake. I first want to load the adapter. So I have to say I have a robotic 96 head and I want to load the adapter. Adapter is on position one, like the last example, on a 37 millimeter stand. So I have to tell the system that I have no tips on this adapter. One channel adapter, no tips. And now my work list operation starts. Therefore, I have a uh, special command, operate work list. In this command, I select the file I just created, the text file hit pick. And this command works with this text file as it was a database. So you see the header in the file are detected automatically as variables uh, and so uh, as field names. So these the, the values of these fields are automatically included in the operate work list command. That works the same way with some other databases as well, with an access table or even with an oracle table. You can use the same command for that. So now I want to load now I want to load my tip and I use the load command. I accidentally used too early. So I say now I have a one channel adapter and I want to load 250 microliter tips again. My tip box can be on position two. It is a tip box. And now I would need the information where my tip is. And this location corresponds with the target plate position. So I can use the variable target, which is provided by my operate work list command. The next command is the positioning command, move to labware. I say I have a single channel configuration now. My source plate can be on position 7. And it is again, in this example, a Griner 96 polystyrol plate. And the well information, again, is stored in the variable from the work list, variable source. One millimeter above the well bottom might be okay. And I aspirate from the given location. And the volume information, again, comes from the database. So I select the variable volume. Now I want to move to the target plate. So I use the move to labware command again. I still have single channel. My target plate can be on position eight. For the example, it's a Griner 96 polystyrol plate as well. And the well information again comes from the database. Target, one millimeter. And I dispense, and here I need no volume information. I just say I want to dispense everything. Dispense with blowout. I move the vertical drive up to the topmost vertical position and do a pistons to zero. And after that, I release the tip because this is the transfer of one well of one hit into my target plate. Unload command from my single channel adapter. And let's say I have a waste box again on position three. So I can just release my used tip there. And the command needs and well information. I use just something in the middle of the box. So I throw the tip into the box. The operate work list command now repeats 
for each line in my worklist table, in my worklist database. And so all the hits from the file will be transferred into, into the target plate. And finally, I just have to release the liquid handling adapter. So I say from the R96 head on position one, I want to release on my 37 millimeter stand. And that's it. That's my whole hit pick program, which transfers hits from one source plate into a target plate based on a database, based on a text file, whatever your data source is. Let's save the example program like the other two examples and um, and the name can be hit pick save and now our program is ready to be executed so that might be sufficient uh, for a short introduction of the possibilities of the Cybio Composer. Let me show some more commands which might be interesting for you if you want to go deeper into the programming of the Composer. So we have commands which can make decisions, so a conditional statement, if then in programming language uh, we can include subroutines in the composer. So every composer program can basically work as a subroutine, or you can include Visual Basic scripts or JavaScripts into the composer if you want to make special operations. Sometimes we create solutions for customers which are not uh, suitable with the composer directly. So that can be um, a simple access to files which uh, is not programmable with the standard uh, operations of the composer, or it can be an access to third-party devices which have no direct drivers. So subroutines can be included. We have error handling commands. We have uh, a loop command, which just repeats operations with encounter. So you can repeat your um, transfer operations or your dilutions uh, if you want to process more than one plate. Of course, we have variables. So with the help of the variables, you can store information, you can do calculations, um, you can specify uh, how your variables work if you want to have a user input. For the user input, we have the command message box. And in the message box, you can of course, just enter a text which will be displayed, or you can include variables. So you have input fields for values. Um, when the message box pops up, you can enter manually information. And these input fields can be configured like um, a drop down list, like a decision, like a uh, file selection dialog. So many possibilities. Uh, to use all these possibilities, of course, we offer trainings. So we show you in detail which possibilities you have with all these commands. We have a logging command, so you can um, include special information into the log file. Of course, the log file is automatically written always if a Composer program runs. But here you can include your own um, information into the log file. We have a comment. This is helpful if you want to write your programs and you just want to leave a comment for yourself or for another program for somebody who reads your program later. We have a combined command to structure your program to group some commands in your program and many, many options more. Database commands allows you to access a database, a table of a database, to write information into a database or read information from a database. We have a file access 
command which uh, gives you many options to read information from files or write into files um, and for other devices which might be integrated into your system we uh, have more drivers which bring their own commands so that can be a shaker on the Cybefelix or it can be a transport device which is equipped to the Felix like a uh, small robot or uh, any other third-party devices which can be integrated with the Felix. All these can be controlled with the Cyber Composer. So thank you for listening to me, for seeing this video. I hope you got an impression about the possibilities of the Cyber Composer and uh, we are happy to answer your questions if you have one. I say goodbye and maybe we meet in a training.